Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy PJ Too Hot. I'm here with a new video, and um, it's about the PSP Go a review. Okay. Oh yeah, just to let some y'all know, for Christmas, for Christmas, I also got a DSI. Alright. First off, the DSi looks like this. I mean, the, I mean, the PSP Go looks like this. Now, it's a red screen. You can't even see anything. Just to let you know, because my camera. But slide up, just like that. Now, basically, what the PSP Go can do is you can um things it can do and things it can't do. So, so it says stuff that it can't do, like the 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000, and stuff that it can do, and the 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000 cannot do, and still can't do, is that um, it has a, okay, one thing is it's a built-in 16 gigabyte hard drive. Normal PSPs can't have, does not have a hard drive built in it. You have to buy a memory stick to store data and all that. One thing that the 3000 and 2000 and 1000 has that this does not have is a UMD drive. This does not take UMDs, so you know, it's portable. You have to have internet or internet, a computer, or just a, or a PS3. So if you have Wi Fi, like wireless, then you can download games from on the PSP with from the the PS the PlayStation Store, or you can you or it also comes with the Media Go where you put on your computer and download your games on your computer, which make which will go faster. Or you can use your PS3 and then put the USB in on your PSP Go and copy the game that you download on your PS3 to your PSP Go. Now that we got that out of the way, all right now, so. You, 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 okay, when you first get when you first on turn on your PSP Go, you do a setup and it, it, and you have position network says sound position network. But to do that, you have to do an update. It will say update the six point I think six point twenty and all that. And that update includes the the update includes the digital comments and all that. So there's been a whole bunch of updates on PSP and like like for example, your games you might can't see, but your games. Go like in the game area. You can go from demos to full games. Now, if you go on PlayStation Store, they have a huge selection of games, and they might have they might not have the game that you're looking for. Like if there's a PSP game you haven't played in a long, long time, you know what I'm saying, like a long, long time, and you haven't seen it or um for a while, they're not gonna have it. I mean, not yet, but you have to give it some time. I mean, they this is just this is new, so give them some time. The story maturing and eventually. As time goes on, the, it'll have a whole selection of so many games you can, can't even imagine. But right right now, they have, they do have some games they haven't played in a while, like Thrill Bill, and I, I and that's why I have right now. I, I only got two full games: Rock Band and Thrill Bill. Yeah, and it, it comes with Rock Band Unplugged Light. Now, Light Rock Band Unplugged Light is the full game of Rock Band. It's just that it does not come with all the songs, but it's the actual game. So you can do anything that you can in the full game. You don't, you bet you don't have all the songs. So you have to go on the store and all that, or on the store and all that, and they'll let you pay for all your songs. So you have to pay for the songs to keep on going. Like if you start tour on Rock Band, you can start tour mode and you can tour, and um, on you know like tour mode, and you and then. And then you can keep on going until you reach that, like, I think it's like in two songs, you can't continue anymore unless you have more songs. So you have to go buy more songs to continue tour mode on Rock Band, which is, as I said, it's the full game. It's just to have all the, all the songs. Now, but you, but you can call it a demo, because some people call it a demo, but it's not a demo. But, but you can call it a demo, because it doesn't come with everything. So you can, you can call it a demo, but, you, but, but everybody knows it's the full game. It's just... More, more people just call it a demo because it does not come with everything. Second, is the internet browser is the same. Skype, Skype is on any other PSP. Um, basically, online instructions, videos, music, photos, extras is for like digital comics. But I don't have a digital comic system. Sex up thing. Remote play is on uh, any PSP. 
um, it's real cool because you can connect your PSP to your PS3 and use in them like and use your it basically your PSP becomes a TV like your it basically you like hooking up your PS3 to your um PSP and everything that's on your PSP like the basically the the main the main the PS3 menus basically like the dashboard on the um PSP on the PS3 is gonna show up on your PSP and everything like PlayStation Home and everything is gonna be on the PSP so you basically have the screen like my like my PS3 is on right now. And you see the screen, you, you can't see because right now, right now, the only thing you see is the big old white light. But I'm on my PS3, I'm not playing the game, I just, I'm just at the menus. I'm at the game section where, you could, where the demos, where my demos are all that. But you can see me navigating right there. You might can see like a little thing close right there, you can see it moving. But I'm at the I'm at the thing, like the dashboard of the, PS, the PSP, that's gonna be on here. And you, but you can't play the PS3 game because I tried that and it says you can't do that. But I think if you have a PSP game installed on your PS3, you can play it like that. Anyways, um, so I, I really enjoy this device. It's a real, real good device, and it's I, I like it more than any other PSP, even the even the 1000. See, 1000 and 2000 people have been hacking them. I've used a hack PSP. It's cool. I mean, it's real cool. I, I, but I never had mine hacked at all. But I've used one, and it's real, 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 real cool. I mean, it's real cool how using that because you can you get anything on it. I mean, it's just crazy. I see people put the iPod Touch screen on their PSP. I mean, it's real cool. That's it, but that's not what the PS3.1000 was made for. But I actually do like, like I actually did enjoy using that hack PSP. But anyways, um, but besides point, you know, if you hack on, I mean, a lot of people got them hacked, but you know, I've been seeing a lot of people's PSPs have been breaking because of they've been hacked. And it's, uh, it's either it's either Sony's figured out and they're doing something to stop that, so they're breaking them, or is that, or it's either the person who hacked it don't know what he was doing, is not a good hacker or something. It's either those two things. So basically, I give this PSP a real, real good score, and um, I really hope y'all enjoyed this review. Um, it was real good. I told you everything this PSP can do. I'm having a great time with it. So I, I I give it a real real good score. This this is a real good device. I don't care what nobody saying. I seen reviews saying it's not good because because hey it's no UND drive. Well maybe y'all were hacking y'all PSPs and downloading games. Y'all enjoyed that. Then when Sony makes a PSP where you can download games, you hate it because you don't got UMDs. I mean y'all y'all is just retarded. People out there they, can you hack your PSP so you can pay your PSP? Then you go on a website and download four ISO files. Of PSP games, no, y'all do all that. Y'all have fun doing that. But then, when um, Sony makes a PSP where you can download PSP games, you hate it and all of that. When you was downloading PSP games, now you hate downloading PSP games because Sony made a PSP where you can. So crazy. I mean, they're just trying to make it so it's more portable. You don't have to worry about carrying all that stuff around. And they did a real good job. So, anyways, um, you, you can comment. You're free, free to comment. If you want to comment saying PSP sucks, I mean PSP Go sucks. Go ahead and comment. You're free to comment. You can say whatever you want, as long as you ain't being racist, racist or anything. Like I have a past couple years, people call me the N word. I'm not gonna say it though. But um, but basically, you you're, you can feel free to comment about anything. If you don't like the PSP, you can comment saying you don't like it. I mean, it's your opinion. It's not mine. Anyways, um, peace.